Hi there and welcome to this video about how to ensure that you're getting the absolute fastest export times for your videos out of Premiere Pro. Now I actually made a video back in April of 2018 about how to really speed up your export times in Premiere Pro. And this relied on something called QuickSync technology, which was part of certain Intel processors. And you had to go into your BIOS, make sure that your integrated graphics option on your processor was enabled. And then once you've done that, what Premiere Pro would do would take advantage of that internal graphics processor and help speed up your export times. So that was all well and good, but you did need a certain Intel processor. It didn't work on all systems and there were a few steps that you had to do. Now what Adobe's actually gone ahead and done is in the May 2020 release, so that's Premiere Pro 14.2, buried in the release note somewhere near the bottom, just literally a line, they've added support for Nvidia and AMD GPUs on Windows, hardware encoding for H.264, H.265 is now available across all platforms. This means consistently faster exports for these widely used formats. So what this means is that if you have a relatively modern AMD or Nvidia GPU is that you can benefit from much faster export times. So there are a couple of steps that are required just to make sure that you have everything set up correctly and I'll take you through them now. So in Premiere Pro, you just need to make sure that you're running at least version 14.2 and you can find that out by clicking on help about Premiere Pro It'll load up a little splash screen and you can see your version number. And I'm actually running the August release, so this is now 14.3.2. So it needs to be at least 14.2. So we're on a later build, so that's all good. So then the other thing I need to check within Premiere Pro is by going to Edit, Preferences, Media. And then what I'm looking for is this option that says enable hardware, accelerated encoding and decoding. The tick should be in there. If it's not, pop it in. You'll see that it says requires restart. So make sure that ticks in, click OK. If you need to restart the software, make sure you do that. The final thing is to make sure that your graphics card driver is up to date. Now, like I said, this is supported on most AMD and Nvidia GPUs, certainly the most recent ones. There's a link in the description below for AMD and Nvidia. And if you go ahead and look at those lists, they will tell you your graphics card and exactly what it supports. What I've actually found is that the most benefit comes from the slightly older systems with underpowered CPUs. So if you can couple those with a higher end GPU, you can actually see encode times that are two, three, four, and even five times as fast. On higher end systems, I was getting one and a half to twice as fast, which is still a great improvement. But like I say, if you're running an older system with a slightly underpowered CPU, coupling that with an AMD or Nvidia GPU, especially a modern one, is really going to speed up your export times. So when it actually comes to export, what you want to do is go up to File, Export, Media. That's going to go ahead and bring up the export settings that you'll be familiar with in Premiere Pro. And this works on HEVC, so H.265 and H.264 export settings. So we'll go ahead and just select H.264. Go ahead and make sure in the encoding settings, hardware encoding is selected. You see you have the option between software and hardware encoding. Software, obviously, as the name suggests, only uses software. Hardware will use that GPU to speed up the encoding process. Now, when selecting hardware encoding, you are getting that much faster export time, but there is a slight trade-off in quality of the final video. Now, under a lot of testing, I find this to be extremely minimal. And most of my video exports are being uploaded to YouTube, which uses its own compression anyway. And once it's on a platform like that, I think that the difference in quality is completely undetectable. One of the limitations that you have with hardware encoding is the fact that it is limited to variable bitrate one pass. So for the maximum quality when exporting a video, you would always select VBR two pass, but you'll see if I go ahead and select that, that then hardware encoding, if I try and select that, it says your system does not support hardware acceleration for the current settings. 
So that is one of the limitations. Like I say, the quality difference is extremely minimal. And certainly if you're uploading to the web for YouTube, uh, it's pretty much undetectable. So with hardware encoding selected in the encoding settings, I can go ahead and select my target bitrate that I want. And then it's just a matter of hitting export. And then what Premiere Pro is gonna do is use that GPU to help with that encoding process. And you can see here, this is a seven minute long video. It's estimating about four and a half minutes to encode it with that hardware acceleration turned on. I did a quick test beforehand with the software and it was coming in around 10 or 15 minutes. So just with that option enabled, I'm seeing about a two, two and a half times faster export. Hopefully that video has been useful. If you do have any questions or comments, please drop them below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.